Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. The real test whether the Sabrimala controversy has affected the voters in Kerala will be seen in the results of the Tiruvananthapuram and Pattanamthitta seats. While there has been growing support for the BJP as a fallout of the apex court verdict allowing women of all ages into the Ayappa temple, the Congress and the left believe that their traditional vote bank will not desert them for the BJP. In Kerala's capital, Tiruvananthapuram, it is a game of truth versus dare between sitting Congress MP Shashi Tharoor and BJP's Kumanam Rajashekharan. Tharoor has been demanding that the BJP stop propagating lies about him to win votes, while the BJP candidate dares him to win a third time in a row. Tharoor alleges that the BJP has been spinning yarns of lies by misinterpreting a few lines from his 30-year-old book in which he criticizes a few traditions of the Nair community of Kerala. This, he believes, has caused him much damage as the Nairs form a large chunk of the voters in this particular Lok Sabha seat. Well, they've been running uh, the usual campaign of lies, distortions and misrepresentations, which sadly is a very shameful way of trying to actually uh, win an election. But in the process of doing all of this, they have caused some damage undoubtedly, particularly amongst the uh, Nair community and, and Hindus generally, or at least those Hindus who can be persuaded to identify themselves principally by their uh, religious community rather than by their ideas, their beliefs. Uh, and and um, because their campaign of lies has been so assiduously propagated and so systematically put out, uh, our clarifications and refutations have not had the same traction. That I will myself concede that I will lose a certain number of votes because people have believed lies about me that in fact are lies, but which the BJP is cheerfully putting out without any, um, any sh shame or any, any respect for the truth. Campaigning in the Tiruvananthapuram seat has become a nail-biting affair as the BJP desperately looks to win the seat, which they believe has been most affected by the Sabari Mala issue. It is an important seat as the Nair community, which is a Hindu forward caste, form a large chunk of the population here. The Nairs have been sympathetic towards the BJP during the Sabari Mala protests. BJP's Rajasekharan, a long-time RSS Karakarta, recently resigned as Mizoram governor to contest from this seat, as the RSS also has a strong presence in the capital city. Rajeshekaran during his election campaign has been speaking of how the Congress and the CPM did not make the people of the state feel safe. Rather, they not only infringed on their religious beliefs, but also tried to offend the temple tradition as well as Hindu ethos. In Sabarimala issue, the general public decide to have a strong stand. So they they are in in their in their uh, help or sa uh, their safety. The CPM and Congress did not come. So the people come to know that they, they want to have a shelter. So they are feeling that the the BJP is the savior of the general public. People are the anti BJP factors are here. The people who are uh, uh, purposely highlighting those some issues where the, they want to tell that the BJP has got some confusion, divisions, uh, it is their need, that is selfish need. In BJP there is no such uh, division or uh, animosity among the leaders or something is there. We are all one, we are united, we are fighting the election with one heart, one motto, one aim. The BJP believes it will be able to put up a tough fight in all 20 seats in Kerala. But the party says they have a huge impact in three seats in particular. Patanam Titta, Trishur and Tiruvannantapuram. The print travelled to Patanam Titta, the heartland of the Sabri Mala protests. One thing that stood out distinctly was the underlying current of support to all those who protested against the Supreme Court's decision to open the Ayappa temple to women of all ages. Women, especially in the area, feel that the courts have no right to intervene in their age-old traditions and that there is a deliberate attempt to split believers and non-believers. Lata is a teacher in a private school in Patanam Titta. Hanan also participated in the protests seeking a reversal of the court order. Her family have been long-term supporters of the Left Democratic Front. But since the Sabri Mala issue, she says she has no way other than to vote for the BJP to register her protest. 
എല്ലാ ദേഷ്യവും ഉണ്ട് എങ്ങനെ പ്രതികരിക്കണം എന്ന് നമുക്ക് അറിയാൻ വേദായി പോയി അത് നമ്മൾ ഇതിലൂടെ അങ്ങ് പ്രതികരിക്കും വോട്ടിട്ട് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഇത് തന്നെ ഇതിന് ഇത് തന്നെ ഇതിനേ കൊടുക്കത്തുള്ളൂ ഇനി എന്നായാലും The BJP candidate in Patnam Titta, K. Surendran, seems to be using the Sabri Mala wave to his advantage. And BJP National President Amit Shah, during a rally in his constituency, called him the representative of all believers. Surendran has been receiving a hero's welcome where he campaigns, as he had been sent to jail after leading the Sabri Mala protests, which at one point also turned violent. Despite the fact that the election commission had made it clear that the Sabri Mala issue cannot be used as a poll plank, BJP candidates have been ensuring that they do mention it in every speech. The BJP believes that though the burning issues are development and employment, the Sabri Mala issue will be the Waterloo of the Left Democratic Front. The Left Democratic Front, on the other hand, has fielded a woman candidate and sitting MLA from Aranmula. Veena George against the BJP in Patanam Titta. The Left Democratic Front believes that the women voters will not be swayed by the Sabri Mala issue and Veena would be able to lock in those votes. See, I was told that one of the smartest decision taken by the LDF was to field a woman in Patanam Titta for the LDF. That way they can keep the women votes together. <laughs> See, um, I represent the Aramula constituency. Uh, and uh, see i i mean tell my people that see what i have done in mean, over these years i will do for you in i mean uh, i'll rejuvenating rivers or i mean i mean constructing new roads and so like that will take a new i mean uh, uh, what i was doing earlier i will do it for the people of patranamata parliament constituency so they are convinced the people between shabrimala and development so which is the which is the decisive factor <laughs> uh, see in the election development is the issue in an election shabrimala doesn't worry the ldf at all no 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 certainly it is a three cornered fight in this seat as sitting mp anto antony of the congress is confident that his party will stand to gain from the ldf's loss The Congress led UDF believes that Sabri Mala is playing a pivotal role in this election but they also say that the left democratic front voters who are hurt by this issue will vote for a secular congress rather than a communal BJP Well here in Patnam Titta it is battleground Sabri Mala now we have actually seen how that there is a consolidation of the women's votes against the party which has taken the decision to open the doors of the Ayappa temple to women of all ages and that their indicative is of the ldf and the pindrai vijay led government now there is also a general feeling amongst people here in patnam titta that the shabrimala issue is definitely a decisive factor as to how people will vote and this will have a cascading effect on other uh, constituencies as well as the bjp is quite hopeful that they could with the shabrimala issue they could garner as much as support or even possibly look at gaining three seats in kerala or at least a good gain in the state of kerala where they have absolutely no presence now the the ldf on the other hand in a very smart move have fielded a women candidate to try and appease uh, the the women voters as well as try to garner as much support and also to bring down tempers but whether this will work only the ballot box will say but patnam titta on a whole if you see the general feeling is that that shabrimala is quite a decisive factor roni swami in patnam titta for the break